What is the origin of everything? And where did the universe come from? The Big Bang Theory is our best guess, our best explanation and our best answer to these two questions. Stars like ours are orbited by planets into solar systems and these stars, of which there are billions, are joined together in galaxies. They're brought together by gravity. These galaxies are all clustered together and form a ginormous web which we call the universe. Edwin Hubble is a famous astronomer. He's this rather dapper looking gentleman here. What he did was he sat here on Earth and he measured the light which came from distant galaxies. He found that galaxies are moving away from us, the light was red shifted. That means because the galaxy is moving away, the light has a visibly longer wavelength and is therefore closer to the red end of the spectrum. If it's moving towards us, that galaxy, it would be blue shifted. He measured not just their speed, their recessional velocity, how fast they were going away from us, but also the distance from Earth. And he found that the further away the galaxy was from Earth, the faster it was moving away from us. And indeed, every galaxy that he looked at, bar about three, were moving away from Earth. The Big Bang Theory ex attempts to explain this evidence. And the theory states that the universe must have started from a singularity, something which we can't really explain, something which we don't know what it would be, but we know that all the energy of, that's now in the universe must have been at one single place. Then there was very rapid expansion. And we had what we call the quark-gluon plasma, where we didn't even have protons and neutrons. Then the protons and neutrons formed from this quark-gluon plasma, and those proton and protons and neutrons stuck together to form atoms. The atoms rubbed together, got hot, and started doing nuclear fusion. And from then on, there was a much slower, steadier expansion. And though in that, that fusion became stars, and those stars stuck together in galaxies. And now we have the universe as it appears today, which is literally billions and billions and billions of galaxies, all um, made of billions and billions and billions of stars. Well, it was just a theory until, accidentally really, um, two gentlemen studying with their microwave telescope found something, found a background signal, and we call this background signal the cosmic microwave background radiation. This is a picture of the entire universe from planet Earth, and it shows that from every single direction that we look, we are receiving the cosmic microwave background radiation. So this is a kind of uh, signal to us that shows us that the universe must have all been at one point at the same place. It's often referred to as the smoking gun left over after the Big Bang. It's the energy that was actually released during that first period of very rapid ex uh, expansion, or sometimes called an explosion, a Big Bang. That CMBR must have started as very energetic, blue end of the spectrum, gamma wave waves. As the universe expanded, it too would have reduced in energy and reduced in frequency and lengthened in wavelength through all the different portions of the electromagnetic spectrum until it became redder and redder and redder, until it became the microwave portion of the spectrum. So this is how we know that the universe from the singularity to today is going to be 13.7 billion years old. That's at least our best estimate now. But why? Well, why is the universe here? Well, we can't really answer that question in science because we can't test anything that was before that singularity with no way of doing an experiment. So science will never be able to tell you why the universe is here. And this is your room for religion. If you are religious, you don't have to disbelieve the Big Bang Theory because the why is completely up to you.